Oh, hey, Holmes. How's it going? This episode, I'm going to be making a chicken and mushroom pie. It's pie time you learn to make a pie. You're going to need a big knife, an onion. Chop up your onion. It's so sad. The onion hurts my feelings. If you can handle the tears, chop it into small dice. And carrot. Excellent. Mushrooms. Wash them. The amount of mushrooms is entirely up to you. Just think how mushroomy you want it, really. I'm doing bog-standard chestnut mushrooms, and I'm cutting them into about button mushroom size. Doesn't matter. It's your pie. I've got a quarter of a pepper left over in my fridge as well, so I'm just going to stick that in. 500 gram pack of chicken thighs. You can use chicken breasts, but I like the tenderness of chicken thighs. They're very tasty, and they're cheaper. What's not to love? and cut them into dicey dice dice. Now you've prepped all your innards, get a saucepan and put it on the hob on a medium heat with some olive oil and a knob of batter. Add your chicken and let that brown off for a minute and stir it up frequently. Once your chicken is brown, you wanna add your harder vegetables, onion, carrot and pepper. Give that a good old stir around and make sure everything's hitting the bottom and getting a nice saute. Let that go for three to five minutes. When you feel like your harder vegetables have been initiated into the pie process, add your mushrooms. A generous tablespoon of flour. Papa! And salt if you want. I don't want. My stock is salty enough for me and my baby. Mixed herbs or fresh if you've got them in the garden. And maybe a teaspoon and maybe a teaspoon of mustard if you want. Then add about 100 ml of milk and 200 ml of chicken stock. Simmer it away for a little bit. Like this, simmer, 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 simmer. And it'll start to thicken up and look very pie filling like. Meanwhile, decide what you want as your pie dish you could do one huge one for everybody or you can do individual sized ones you could do baby ramekin sized ones butter sorry mum butter butter your dishes stir now the bottom of my pan has just started to catch which means the the bits are all sticking to the bottom it hasn't burnt yet but i'm glad i caught it when i did because it means that i can turn off the heat let it chill out for a minute and then you turn on the heat again and carry on now you could make your own pastry or you could go to the shop and buy some puff pastry. Dust your surface with some flour. Not that kind of flour. This kind of flour. Bring the puff pastry out of the fridge 30 minutes before you intend to use it because otherwise it's really difficult to roll and it cracks and it's all very disastrous. Preheat your oven to 170 and unroll your puff pastry. Give it a couple of rolls just to make it go round a bit further. So it's quite thin. And then for each section, cut a two thirds piece and a third piece. And the two thirds piece is gonna be your bottom. Roll it out a little more. It doesn't have to be precise because you're just gonna ease it into the bottom bit anyway. Push it down into each corner maybe with your knuckles so that you don't catch your nails on it. And then roll out the lid so it fits the length of it. Like that, and do the rest. Here's your delicious chicken pie innards. Mmm, you know what to do. And then get each pie lid, place on top, and pleat over so you're getting a nice crimped edge. The more rustic, the better. You can chop off any straggly edges. These are useful in a minute, actually. Oh, so good. Now you want to cut out some shapes to make the tops look particularly awesome. I might do hearts. It's just a matter of poking the pastry with a knife until it looks right. You can leave them in this stage for probably a day. Once you're ready to cook your pie, make sure your oven is preheated and break an egg into a cup or a small bowl. If your decorations aren't sticking, put a bit of egg underneath them and stick them on. Toddlers can also do rustic. 
<laughs> and that's it. We're done. We're done. Uh. And then we're talking about 15 minutes in the oven, maybe a little bit less for this smaller one, so I'll check it at 10. While your pies are in the oven, put the kettle on and you're going to do some sides. Carrots and beans. 10 minutes for these guys. Uh, five. 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 Take me to your leader. Take me to. You've got dealy boppers. Right, that's my beeper on my pies. They need five more minutes. You can also serve this with mash or new potatoes in the summertime. Pie number one, pie number two, pie number three, and pie number four. Drain your veg. Once your pies are all out of the oven, they will look a little something like this. Spectacular. Maybe a bit of butter and pepper on your veggies and serve. Like a green bean. That is really yummy, comfort food. Today I made some damn good pie. What do you mean? What do you mean no? Thanks so much for watching my show Tickly Mouth and that was my chicken and mushroom pie. Maze balls. If you've got any ideas for what you want to see next time, please comment in the section below this video. Yeah, keep watching, keep supporting, but tell your friends to subscribe and comment and talk to me, baby. Talk to me. Anyway, my name is Sophie Ross. This is Tickly Mouth, and that's the end of this episode. See you next week. Sword fight! Sword fight!